Hey guys, it's been a while. I thought I would share some updates in our backyard. Hey there, welcome back to Lima Bean Living. If you guys are new here, my name is Emily. Welcome to my motherhood channel where I take care of all things mom. I'm slowly coming back from a hiatus, a well-needed break from my weekly schedule of Mondays and Fridays. I just have been taking like a health break and I'm slowly losing weight, which was one of my goals and feeling more rested. So I appreciate your patience. Um, I'm gonna slowly make my way back to my every Mondays and Fridays posting a video. But today I am just sharing some updates that we have in our backyard. My first one I'm gonna start with is right up here. I saw some birdies the other day, like pull some twigs and they made this adorable little nest. And today we checked and there's actually three cute, like light green, pale bluish, eggs and it's going to be so fun to follow the progress and show my kids the little stages of new little birdies. The next couple updates are regarding some plants. So we added some more uh, plants on our slopes and I also planted some pumpkin seeds from the pumpkin plant that gave me a pumpkin last year as well as some like miniature more decorative pumpkins. Those ones are actually sprouting really well in some pots. So let's go check those out. So over here is where I actually planted pumpkin seeds for like the big pumpkins. And I really only have one sprouting right now. So I'm gonna try my luck with better soil in a pot and see if I can get some of the uh, bigger pumpkin seeds to sprout and then maybe replant them here so that they get more routine water because I am very forgetful. I planted some of the smaller pumpkins, the more decorative ones over there, and none of them sprouted. So I'm not having much luck just putting it in the ground like I did last year. So we're gonna resort to my little potted plants that I'll show you guys in a second. Over here, I did plant some romaine lettuce. Um, that obviously didn't give me any more like leaves to eat, but they did produce flowers. And I planted some of these seeds. Let me see if I can grab some. So this plant produces like little black seeds like this and I have planted these seeds and they started to sprout. So we're gonna see if I get any like romaine lettuce from seeds this time. I'm gonna put this one up here and see if I get anything from it. So here are the pumpkin plants for like the more decorative pumpkins that I planted in better soil. Obviously they love it, so that is a plus. Some more are growing right there. That doesn't have as great of drainage, so that's why I think they are, aren't doing so well. And then later, um, after I planted those, like maybe a week later, I planted some of the big pumpkin seeds in these guys, so we'll see if they sprout. You can see our grass is growing in much better than before, and I did sprinkle some pumpkin seeds in that area over there, so we'll see if any of them sprout and, you know, give us some more pumpkins. My onion plant is doing quite well. I'm hoping that this will give me like the seeds so that I can grow some more, but you know, they're doing okay. And then I have this little plant here. Um, down there is one of the places I planted the romaine seeds. So we'll get some romaine lettuce, hopefully if those survive. And my succulent isn't doing so hot because Jack kind of like tortured it one day. So that's why I moved it over here. So we'll see what happens with those. In these other areas, it looks like maybe some more romaine lettuce is growing in there. That little sprout right there. So I don't know, we might, we might be doing okay with the romaine lettuce and my green onions are doing okay too. So recently Juan and I went to a nursery. We picked up this blueberry plant. I repotted it into a bigger pot. So hopefully it will do well. Our avocado tree is getting bigger. I definitely need another stick. So it's, it's grown a lot actually. I wanna say now just looking at it, it looks really big. I wanna say it's grown like a foot in like the last month or so. Like it's, it's really, really doing well. Hey chocolate. A little chicken update. We got a broody hen. So this little girl right here wants to hatch eggs. Right now, I don't even know if there's any eggs in here. Mm, no eggs. So she is just always living in the nesting box. She just wants to be, it's called broody. <laughs> 
and uh, I think it lasts for about a month and it's been like a week or two. It's quite annoying. She doesn't lay eggs during this process and I always have to like take her out and she finds her way back in here and just hangs out. So kind of annoying, but it's something we're dealing with. And wrapping up on our plants, we got a lemon tree that we planted here. It should produce seedless lemons. So I'm excited about that to make fresh lemonade as well as like lemon loaves and things like that. And then we kind of equally spaced our plants. So then we got our navel orange tree. This should produce a seedless orange. And I've had it before when it's like ripened on the tree and it is so delicious. So I'm excited for this one to grow. And then finally, we have our little pomegranate tree over here. Uh, we're hoping, I kind of wish I would have planted it like a little bit higher, like just not higher up the slope, but just more dirt underneath it. But hopefully it'll do well. The trees were planted, I believe on Saturday or Sunday. So, and it's Wednesday when I'm filming this. So it's been a few days and they don't actually look that bad. They don't look like they've wilted at all or anything like that. So I'm, I'm hopeful that they will take and that they will produce lots of yummy fruit. And our last and biggest addition to our backyard is this awesome swing set. We actually set it up the other day and Aubrey and Jack have wanted to swing on it every day since. So let me tell you a little bit more about this awesome product. I'd like to thank Hatfan for sponsoring this portion of today's video. They sent us this amazing heavy duty swing set. The swing set includes one 32-inch saucer swing, two belt swings, one heavy-duty swing frame, and four ground stakes to ensure the frame doesn't rock too much while in use. The heavy-duty metal A-frame structure can support up to 500 pounds so both kids and adults can enjoy swinging in the backyard. The two-inch weather-resistant steel tubes provide a safer stand for your kids. This swing set meets or exceeds ASTM safety standards to make sure your kids are safe while getting benefit from physical activity. The swing height is easily adjustable, and if you wish to change out one of these swings for a baby swing like bucket seat, it is quite easy to do so. We actually borrowed my mom's and let Jack ride in that one as well. Overall, the setup went pretty quick. The parts were labeled nicely, and the instructions were easy to follow. You are sent the essential tools needed for assembly, and the components are pre-drilled too. Juan set up the swing almost entirely by himself. Occasionally, I helped hold the frame or tighten the screws when I wasn't making sure Jack wasn't eating rocks or tearing up my flowers. But after watching the process, I have a feeling I could have set up the whole thing myself if I was kid-free for a bit. So I guess I'm saying there's no need to be intimidated about assembling this product. Like I mentioned, the kids love this swing set. The saucer swing is great for the kids when they want to swing together, and I even enjoyed swinging on it one day. It's also great for getting Jack ready for nap time. Usually I lay Jack down, but when Juan had to take over one day while I was at an event, he said the swing worked great at calming Jack and getting him sleepy. If this product seems like something you would be interested in getting, I will put the Amazon link down below in the description box. Again, I'd like to thank Hatfan for sponsoring this portion of today's video and blessing my children with lots of fun. So that wraps up today's video. I'd like to thank you guys again for watching. If you are new, I would love to invite you to stick around and subscribe. Again, I'm coming back from a little hiatus, a well-needed one. So I'm slowly making my way back to my regular Monday, Friday schedule. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, and I will catch you guys in the next one. to the end of the video. If you didn't know already, every Monday and Friday, you can find motherhood and lifestyle content on this channel. And since us moms have to do it all, that may mean yummy recipes, easy DIYs, mom hacks, cleaning and organization, or just a combo of everything. Please know that you are loved and you are made for greatness, and I will catch you in the next one.